special train all aboard! Farlap was Australia's wonder horse. He raced during the Great Depression in the 1930s and was a hero to many who looked upon his success as a ray of hope in difficult economic times. Let's find out why he became Australia's most famous racehorse. Australia is one of the few countries in the world with a horse as a national hero. The horse was called Farlap, and in racetracks across Australia, it seems every Aussie knows something about the dramatic legend of this great horse. Well, Farlap was a horse, he was before my time, but he was back in the 30s. He was one of the greatest ever, and we always, he's referred to as, as the granddaddy of them all. The greatest race horse that ever was in the world, without doubt. Yeah, everybody loved him, you know, and everybody recalls him. And uh, if you speak of the greats of the course, Farlap's right up there with them all, yeah. Yeah, I've been to the um, stables where he was trained in Randwick and that gives you goosebumps just walking through it. Oh, it's a fairy tale story. Farlap was born in 1927. A bright red chestnut colour, he grew to be a huge 17.1 hands high and for those reasons had several nicknames, among them Big Red, the Red Terror and the Wonder Horse. But to his devoted stable hand, Tommy Woodcock, he was simply known as Bobby. Oh, he was a lovely animal to do anything with. Beautiful horse. He used to follow me around like a little puppy dog. Follow me everywhere, Farlap. In only four years on the racetrack, Farlap won 37 of his 51 races, winning 14 in a row in 1930-31. Well, he, he, won, he won everything that he could win at the time. Well, he did what most horses can't do. He carried huge weights, he won a Melbourne Cup, he went to America, he won over in America. Had a bad hoof when he won that particular race. Uh, an enormous horse, wonderful horse. Farlap won some of the most prestigious races in Australia, including four in one week during the Spring Racing Carnival of 1930, making him almost unbeatable. But Farlap has meant more to Australians than just a fast racehorse. He's become symbolic of a fighting spirit, synonymous with the Australian national character. Farlap won all of his races in an era of great poverty, and this added to his fame. Uh, just one of them horses that was around when no one had money, and whatever money they could scrape up the back on him, and nine times out of ten they'd get their money back. I can remember my grandparents telling me about Farlap, they say they'd they would go to the races and have a penny on him or threepence on him. And he was the horse that kept food on the table for people during the Depression. And he was a sort of friend of the public, that sort of thing. He used to nod his head up and down, he knew when he'd won. The champion's success did not make him popular with everyone. Someone tried to shoot Farlap before a race in 1930. And he was actually favourite of the Melbourne Cup and there was a lot of money to be paid out in the doubles. And uh, they were taking him to the track one morning, Tommy Woodcock, who was uh, his strapper. And Tommy actually got between the horse and the car. They fired at the horse with a gun but missed. 
and then they tore off in the car and um, so then he went into hiding and they brought him to the track just before the race. So that's, that's how good he was. He was just so good that the only way you'd beat him was not, for him not to compete. After conquering Australia, Farlap was taken to race in America. Everybody was uh, thrilled with him and of course they were all disappointed when he went to America. He went to America of course and competed at Agua Caliente. He won over there 